Obama bring back our seven hostages. Obama bring back our seven hostages. Three seven hostages. No, no, no.
صافی میمونم من هم یک اشرفی هستم این اشرف یک حوییته نه مکانه نه مفرقی داره کجاست اشرفی یعنی یک حوییت و زندگی می شده فقط اشرف 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 I 
بازم اشرفی میمونم بازم اشرفی میمونم هر کجا باشم همونم بازم اشرفی میمونم بازم اشرفی میمونم Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow supporters of the Iranian resistance, it is quite an honor being here and being given a chance to convey the message of my colleagues back in Canada. I am here on behalf of the Iranian Democratic Youth Association, a group formed by a number of Iranian Canadian college students devoted to democratic principles, especially as it relates to Iran. Several years back, I remember the first of a series of brutal attacks on Karim Pashraf with American-funded Humvees running over Iranian refugees who had been given a legal promise to be protected. The sanctity of humanitarian law once again had come under attack, but this time hit closer to home. Completely unacceptable that such an attack take place, especially as it involves the lives of brave men and women fighting for democracy and regime change in Iran. At this time, I was in my third year of undergraduate studies in Toronto, when the calling came to join a group of hun hunger strikers in Wa Washington, D.C. to protest the deadly raids on Camp Ashraf by the hands of the Iraqi forces. The decision to postpone my studies was not easy, but in retrospect, it was the best decision I have ever made. Dedicating and spending time for the cause of the Iranian resistance in defense of Camp Ashraf continues to be the cornerstone of my life, and I hope to continue carrying it forward. Years later, the struggle continues. The Mullah's apparatus is desperately throughout the years trying to rid itself of its main threat. The members of the PMY where they reside in an ashraf and where they now reside in liberty. On one hand, water, food, electricity and medical supplies have all been repeatedly denied. Launching mortars at liberty and then unleashing assassin squads in ashraf. On the other hand, there is this campaign of demonization funded by the Iranian regime to discredit its main opposition. Ladies and gentlemen, they have tried and keep trying, but have failed and will continue to fail. One of the most inspiring aspects of this movement to me is its resilience and its determination. I am always reminded of the man in the arena speech given by President Roosevelt when I think of the PMY and the men and women of Camp Liberty. And it goes like this. It is not the critic who counts not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or whether the doer of these could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again. But there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows, in the end, the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Thank you very much.